Ayan, so maganda pong, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Good morning po sa inyo, Tay. So, before we open our session for tonight with prayer, let us sing the song titled, Breathe.
ready to be corrected, Lord God, and ready to be changed for your for your glory, Lord God. And we pray that everyone, Lord God, that's not here yet, Lord God, directing, Lord God, to to uh, join, Lord God, this mentoring, Lord God, in Jesus' name. And we pray, Lord God, that your glory alone will be revealed, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. That should be the name. Amen. 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 Okay, so uh, good evening, Philippines, and uh, good morning uh, for us with uh, Brother Jeremiah. Good morning, Paul, uh, and good evening, Paul. Hello, everybody. Could you, could you imagine Brother Jeremiah looking fresh? <laughs> Thank you. That means he's excited for Jesus, right? Uh-huh. I was going for I showed him a picture of you when I went to the barber. Praise God, okay. Mm. So, uh, the temperature in Europe is 44 degrees, and it seems uh, Florida is. Uh, mm, how's the yeah, temperature like, there, Brother Jeremiah? It was like 48 degrees when I got up this morning. Really? Wow. Oh, it's, it's strange. So it's it was not like hot. 90 the other day. <laughs> okay. But anyway, uh, let's let's uh, go to our topic. No, it's about devotional life. This is number six of our, of our lesson. So uh, I want everybody to uh, just enjoy this lesson, okay? <laughs> so uh, our text is in Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 23. It says, But this thing I did command them mm. listen, uh, listen to and obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you will be my people. And walk in the whole way that I command you, that it may be well with you. It's a powerful passage, no? From the book of uh, Jeremiah, no? <laughs> the book of Brother Jeremiah. <laughs> okay, so it's about devotional life. And uh, <clears throat> beloved, this is uh, a crucial, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is very crucial in every believer's life. Mm. There's, so, there's so many uh, believers today, uh, they don't value their devotion. Mm. So this, this lesson today, uh, my prayer is that uh, as we, as we uh, uh, study this, my prayer is that every one of us in this uh, <clears throat> mentoring uh, would uh, uh, put a high value on our devotional life, okay? Uh, uh, it should be a, uh, 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 I mean, it should something that uh, we put value on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> why, the thing is that, why we should value our devotion? Okay, uh, that's a good question. See, simply because yes, God desires to be a part of our everyday lives. Uh -huh. That's the nature of God, beloved Fox. God wants to get involved in our daily lives. Mm -hmm. That's that's our God. If you remember back in the Garden of Eden, God is there with them. Okay? The Bible says, you know, God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> Praise God. So that's God's desire to be a part of our everyday lives. But if you miss or neglect your devotion, you are simply... Uh, rejecting the involvement of God in your daily lives. Could you imagine that? Probably you're not aware of it, but the moment you miss your devotion, you rejected his involvement in your life. <laughs> That's why this is serious. Amen. We need to put value on our daily devotion. Okay? 
Look at this. He longs to show his love for us in a special way. Uh -huh. You see, if you develop a habit, an attitude no, of doing your devotion every day, <laughs> beloved, that's what he longs for us. Uh -huh. This is our intimate time with God, our devotion. Mm -hmm. uh, you would you would never uh, you, uh, sometimes uh, you will be surprised because your life uh, it is being changed as you develop a habit. Okay, mm -hmm. so as a Christian and a follower of Jesus, it is necessary for us to have our quality time daily with the Lord. Uh, devotion or quiet time doesn't end with having written in a devotional book. Uh, God wants us to be having a undying devotion. That's the word. Uh -huh. We should develop a habit that is untiring, undying. Okay? Devotion. Mm -hmm. The word devotion is simply strong love. Okay? Uh -huh. Tama ba? James anak? Kuya James? Uh -huh. The reason that uh, Ate Mona uh, <clears throat> came to that point that uh, uh, she was fully convinced to respond to your love is that you show Mona a strong love. Amen, Dai. Yes, Pa. That's what it is. I love it. Uh, 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 I hope that it will not be just uh, during your courtship. No, it should continue. I mean, the, the level of uh, your pursuit, I mean, your, your affection no, should, be de should develop. And in the same way, that should be our attitude towards God. Amen. <laughs> you see, I'm already 32 years in the Lord. And even to this very day, Fox, my, my affection, my devotion is getting higher. <laughs> I mean, the level. <laughs> so, again, it's an undying devotion. A kind of devotion not limited to a single hour or day in our lives, but is a daily lifestyle. Daily lifestyle. Hmm. You know, when you practice this uh, kind of lifestyle, your daily devotion, you know, when you talk to people, people are being blessed. Hmm. I never been to Bible school. Oh. But you might notice that when we when we come together in this mentoring, you know, I can sense I can sense that uh, you are receiving the teaching, right? Mm -hmm. To be an effective uh, uh, Bible teacher comes from your devotion. Come on, you see, it should be a product of your devotion. It comes from your heart, no. That's why when I teach you, no, my prayer is that Lord, allow me, use me to touch the heart of these precious people. Mm. I'm done with that day that you know I'm 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 teaching from from a human. But no, oh, I want to teach from the heart because that's the revelation from the Holy Spirit. Okay, when Jesus. Choose his disciples, he teach them from the heart. That's why, with a different attitude, uh, I mean, different personality with, oh, with, with his disciples, they were transformed after three years because Jesus, well, beloved, teach from the heart. Okay, let's continue. Another passage that is powerful is uh, everyone probably knows this passage. Right? Uh, Joshua 1 8. Uh, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night 
so that you may be careful to do everything written in it, then you will be prosperous and successful. Again, Joshua 8, this is the life of Joshua. Okay? Uh, he was able to uh, imitate Moses. Moses is his, is his model. Okay? Uh -huh. That's why Moses wrote to Joshua, and Joshua did this to his life. Mm. Uh. When I studied the life of Joshua, he is a different leader. You know, every time Moses <clears throat> have that moment with God, jo Joshua is in the background. No? I mean, during the Old Testament, in the tent. Uh -huh. Joshua is so attentive. Okay. That's why he was a successful leader. Uh, I mean, leader because he knows, Joshua knows the uh, principle. He knows the secret of mm -hmm. being successful. Okay. Joshua and I is guaranteed, folks. Uh -huh. <coughs> Joshua 1 8, no, uh, should be our daily lifestyle. It says, meditate day and night mm -hmm. you see so look the the uh, the involvement of god in joshua's life uh, uh, unimaginable mm. so what what really uh, uh, <clears throat> sustain our success is the involvement of god Okay, it's the involvement of God. Mm. So our devotion is simply allowing God, inviting God to get involved in our life daily. Mm -hmm. So the purpose of devotion, devotions, we do our devotion in order to have intimate relationship with God. The Father desires our daily worship. And he is delighted when he spent time meditating on his word. God wants us to know him better. As we come to know him in this life lesson, it will better equip and enable us to become more like him. You see, that's what devotion does to us. Huh? Amen. We are adapting the character of Christ. It's God. Okay? So, how to prepare your devotions? This is very important. Okay? Set a time and be consistent with it. Do it in the morning before your day starts and in the evening before it ends. You see? Start with God in the morning and end with God when you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as simple as that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the thing. You know, when you do your devotion, you allow God to speak into your heart. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you pray, uh, you're talking to God. So it's a two-way communication. Huh. And this should be a lifestyle. Okay. Uh, you know, coming to America, uh, uh, Jeremiah, Mother Jeremiah, you know the culture in America, right? You see? But when we came to America, no, I have a word from God. Uh, you see? So, who we are today with my wife is a result of our devotion back then before we came to America. You see? Meaning, our good future is a product of our intimacy with God. Praise mm -hmm. God, okay? Are you getting something? Amen. Mm -hmm. So number one, set a time. Uh, that is your date with God. Set a time. It's a date with God. Okay. 
So number two, in reading the scripture, turn away from the source of destruction. Computer, TV, your cell phone, any destruction. You have to focus, okay? That's number two. Number three, listen to God as he speaks through his word in the Bible. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the accurate place where you can hear God is from the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible, okay? Okay, number four, seek the guidance of the Holy Spirit and be willing to obey what he has confirmed in his word. That's why our devotion is so critical or crucial, okay? Come before him with a humble heart and a listening ear. That should be our attitude every time we do our devotion, okay? Uh -huh. And many Christians, yes, they read the Bible, but they read the Bible just like an ordinary book. No. Uh -huh. The Bible, beloved, is that, you know, in John chapter 6, I think 63 says, uh -huh, my, my word is spirit and life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Folks, the Bible says spirit and life. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't read the Bible as you're reading a magazine. Mm -hmm. Many Christians do that. No. Yeah. You have to approach the Bible that it is alive. Mm -hmm. It's the word of God. Okay? Mm -hmm. Matthew 4, 4 says, man shall not uh, live by bread alone. Uh, referring to all believers. We are not, we don't live by bread alone. No? But by every word. Uh, that proceeded out from the mouth of God. So how can the word come out from the mouth of God if you don't do your devotion? Mm. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Why? You see, the moment uh, you open your Bible, whether in your cell phone or whatever, do you know that the lips of God is moving? <laughs> That's what it is. Every time I open my Bible, no, I picture that the lips of God is moving, it's talking to me. Hmm. It's a personal. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> In order for you to accomplish your devotion the right way, you must first have a Bible. Of course, whether in your cell phone, right? Choose a translation with which you are fully acquainted, okay? You must have a notebook, <coughs> okay? You must have a notebook. Sometimes uh, you can use your uh, note on your cell phone, okay? It's, it's important that you write, huh? Uh, you must have a notebook and a pen for reading. After reading the Bible, you must write down the following. Okay? Okay? Listen to this. Very important. Mm. Mm. Rema, I, I keep telling you about revelation knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you read your Bible, a Rema word is like this, okay? Mm. A word that comes alive in your heart. That's Rema. Mm -hmm. You see, when you read the Bible and then something came alive, uh -huh, you need to write that. Okay? Write it. Uh -huh. You know that only the Rema word uh -huh, that will, that will uh, compel you to action. Revelation knowledge. Uh -huh. I also mentioned about two kinds of mind right conscious mind and subconscious mind okay uh -huh. when that word of god penetrate your subconscious mind that's a rima word okay uh, that's a re uh, 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 <clears throat> revelation knowledge rima mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's why it's very important that you do your devotion so that you get a rima. You got a revelation. Amen. Okay? So that's rima. And then let there be reflection. Okay? Rima word says, this is a specific word that God has for you for that moment. That's rima word. Revelation. Alex. Reflection. You can dig deeper on God's rima word for you. Relating it to your situation or circumstances. Okay, this is the this is what it means. Okay. You see, when you have a devotional lifestyle and you face a certain situation in your life, circumstances, beloved, you have the weapon to face it. Mm -hmm. You have a weapon. That's why you are able to overcome obstacle mm -hmm. in your life. Right? I'll give you an example. Oh, our darkest moment with my wife when she got COVID. Okay? Uh -huh. So, she's very confident. No? Uh -huh, that uh -huh, it's already her time to go. Confident. In pain, everything. Uh -huh. At that moment, she said, she, she told me that she is now ready to go. She knows that uh, she's going. Right? Uh -huh. Of course, Alita, uh, of course uh, I, I will not deny that I got scared. <laughs> right? But the word of God prevailed in my heart, beloved. So I took her hand. No? I look up the ceiling. Right? Because I... I don't have any, <laughs> any option but to go to God in prayer, right? Simple prayer. Huh? You see, <clears throat> I simply ask God, Lord, you are the final word. Though my wife is telling me that uh, she is now ready to go, uh, you have the final word in these circumstances that we are facing. Uh -huh. Uh, I only ask God, Lord, I want to hear a final word from you and that settle everything. Right? Uh, you know what? In my spirit, the Lord spoke to me. It says, I am with you in trouble. Uh, and during this time, I'm preaching from the book of Psalms 91. See? So I've been reading this passage, I mean this chapter, and that's where the Lord spoke to me. You see? That's very important that you really read your Bible. <laughs> because what you, what you are familiar with your Bible, God will speak from there. Yes. Okay, number, uh, let us see. Motivation. The word of God is full of motivations and promises that you can claim. Hallelujah. Right? Mm -hmm. Do you know at this point in our life with my wife, we are no longer praying for money. Why? Because we are now experiencing John 10.10. 10. It says, I have come that you might have life and have it to the fullest. Mm -hmm. see? God just keep blessing us. Why? Because that's his promise. When you obey his word, Obey principles in the Bible. Huh? Yeah. You are attracting all the blessing because he promised it for his children. Mm. Uh, that's, a, that's what I call blessing for obedience. It's a promise. Mm. Okay? Application. Devotion is not a devotion without application. Okay? So simply, I would say this way. <clears throat> you will only get Revelation knowledge from your devotion. Mm -hmm. And you can only apply revelation knowledge. Uh -huh. That's why what happened to many Christians today, they have so much overload of information. <clears throat> That's why look at their life. They're miserable. Yes, they're Christian. 
<clears throat> but the overload of information uh, block revelation knowledge. <clears throat> mm. So sad, right? Mm. Praise God. Mm. Mm. It's time, beloved. Make sure you will be doing something after you receive a word from God. You can also make a list of prayer requests. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <clears throat> so personal application says, be a lover of the word of God and make it the final authority of your life. Pray about your day and your life goals in order for you to know what God wants you to do. Make it a goal to do your devotion consistently this week. Come up with a list of your prayer requests and in line to the word of God for direction. Mm -hmm. Praise God. So I pray that uh, you get something today. Amen. Amen. So let me pray and then uh, let's share our uh, mm -hmm. takeaway. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank the Lord <clears throat> for another wonderful time together in your word. God, I pray, Lord, that uh, <clears throat> we will uh, get serious with our devotional life. Thank you, Lord, for, for everyone. Oh, God, thank you for the Rima word that we received today, Revelation Knowledge, and help us to put it into action. God, release your blessing mm, for your precious people in this mentoring. And thank you, Lord, that uh, you continue to increase our understanding, knowledge. And likewise, Lord, I pray that you continue to expand our capacity to receive, especially, Lord, during our devotional time. May you be glorified, Lord, in our daily lives as we <clears throat> allow you to get involved in our life. And this is our prayer with faith believing. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blessing, Thank blessing. You. So, Ate Mona, take it away. <clears throat> Thank you, Tatay, for um, this uh, wonderful reminder po again sa atin and kung gaano ka-importante ang devotional life. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, time to share our key takeaways. So, as usual, ano, nahin ko ang True Wine Home. Take it away. Okay, magandang gabi po sa ating lahat. Una, mag-share po si Sister Mary Joy. Sunod po si Sister Juday at ako po. Okay. Good morning po, Tay. May kaya take away Good morning, good morning. First one po is, we need to put your our devotion in your mind because God speaks to you through your devotion every night. And and yung isa pa po is yung sabi niyo po dun sa point number one na dun niyo po na we must spend spend time to read your own Bible every every time because God speak to you through your read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Wow. <clears throat> okay, simple but uh, very good. Good morning. Uh, yung akin naman po is yung sabi niyo po na we must value your our devotion. Sabi niyo po na if you don't do your devotion, you also regret God to be with you. Sabi mm -hmm. niyo po, God wants us to have an undying devotion. Kaya po, kaya po we need to read our Bible, pray to God, and ask for guidance of the Holy Spirit. And sabi niyo po, kaya po tayo nagiging succeed Kaya po tayo na, kaya po natin nararanasan yung successful dahil po sa dahil po sa Dios at dahil nakikialam siya sa buhay natin ganun na rin po sa guidance ng Holy Spirit. And yun po sa God be the Lord. Amen. Wow. Ayun. Maraming salamat. Maraming salamat po Sister Judai and Sister Major. At ako naman po tayo yung last po dito sa home. Yung natutunan ko po sa bingan ko doon Ano man ang hinaharap po natin na circumstances for sa ating buhay ay ayang kaya natin itong harapin kasi ang Diyos ay kasama po natin. And He will never leave us 
nor forsake us. And lagi po nating tandaan uh, kung lagi po tayo nagdi-devotion, ay ang ating Panginoong Yesus ay maraming mga revelation sa atin na hindi hindi natin makakalimutan. And sabi nga doon, we need to value our devotion. Kasi dito po sa home, Madaling araw at gabi po kami nagdi-devotion yung Bible for Students po. Sama po namin yung mga bata. And um, habang po kayo, um, habang yung mga salita po ng ating Diyos, pinapahayag po ng mga exhorter, ay mas napapatatag po kami at mas malakas po ang aming pananampalataya. Kaya we need to value our devotion. Yun lang po ayon to God be ordered. Wow. So, balik ko na po kay ate muna. Hmm. Thank you, Charmaine, Judai, and Mary Joy. Okay, let's uh, Kids and Bible School, si Bless, and then after Bless, si Pastor Chari, and then si Pastor James. Okay po. Ako po, tama po, di ba? Okay. Um, 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 thank you po tayo sa anyong uh, magandang reminder tonight about devotion. Um, tama po na um, this is yung way yung way natin uh, para uh, masustain natin yung yung mainit na relationship natin sa Panginoon. And uh, kung wala ka talagang devotion, uh, alam mo sa una okay, okay ka lang pero pag natuloy-tuloy mong na miss siya, ayun na everything will be mess will be a mess. <laughs> Yun and <laughs> Um, nagustuhan ko pa yung sinabi po ninyo tatay na what really sustains our success is is the involvement of God in our life right. and yes. that is very true po um, um, not 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 because um, naging busy na tayo sa sa mga nangyayari sa buhay natin uh, nakakalimutan natin kung sino pa talaga yung sustainer natin at yun ano ano ba na yung ibig sabihin ng busy yes po <laughs> ano po? being under satan's yoke. Under satan's yoke. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, 'yun. Um sana um ang priority pa rin natin is, is maka-receive ng ng revelation from the Lord kasi sabi nga po ninyo tatay, you you can only apply revelation. And that is very true. And if we imagine if we if we have devotion every day and we apply the revelation of the Lord every day. Imagine kung gaano kalaki yung uh, ginagawa ni Lord sa buhay natin araw-araw. And if we are missing a lot of uh, blessing, a lot of uh, success and revelation from the Lord, kung hindi po tayo nagtitibosyon. And yun lang po tatay. Um, Very good. Po. Thank you, Bless. Thank you, Bless. Salamat sa magandang share mo. And uh, um, may we ask Pastor Rachari to share naman po yung kanya to take on this. Good evening po. Can can you hear me po? Uh, good po, Sarah. Hi okay po. Actually, um, very timely po. Uh, devotional life, which is... Actually, the most important po talaga sa atin as Christians. Uh, uh, nagiging weapon din po natin from the works of the enemy every day. Um, just like what the story said a while ago, uh, if we are experiencing circumstances in our life, it will not um, be hard for us to to deal with it because we know from the very beginning of your day, you have entrusted everything to our Lord Jesus. Actually, uh, dev- doing devotion is really, ano po eh, nag- nagbabattle ka din. Especially sabi nyo nga yeah, po. Pastor, yeah. uh, if you are uh, being so busy, especially po in our part as teachers, sobrang daming ginagawa. Na minsan, <laughs> hindi ko na po alam anong, anong unahin, yung ganun. Pero, I think God, actually, it's, it, 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 will, it will always be po dapat na included din sa prayer natin that God will, will continue to help us to overcome po yung being devoted tayo in doing our devotions talaga. Sabi ko nga, I've been Christian for almost 16 years. 
But mm-hmm. uh, ayun lang po ako talaga halos naging devoted in my devotion wherein God changed my heart, especially uh, in the calling na I'm being uh, a pastor na po. Siyempre po, I must always be a light and salt to my members, diba po, to my disciples po. So how can I say to them na kailangan nilang mag-devotion if ikaw mismo, eh, hindi ka naman nakikitaan na you are doing your personal devotion with the Lord po, di ba? So, uh, very important po talaga yun that we should set time. So, nag, parang in, yung devotion po talaga, it's a lifestyle na eh, pas. Yung parang if you will not do it, parang it's parang your life. Ng- yun, yun, yun po yung naramdaman ko before. Eh. Pero ngayon, talagang mafe-feel mo yung, yung presence ni Lord So yung pinaka set time ko po kasi na date is uh, na na time is 5 a.m. in the morning to 7 a.m. That's my time po. Talaga na nagde-devote and having a quiet time with the Lord. Uh hanggang sa nakasanayan ko na po 'yan every day na every 5 a.m. in the morning. Actually minsan nauuna pa po ako sa alarm clock eh. Kasi nga po yun na yung naging personal na quiet time mo with the Lord. And every day po is a battlefield, especially in the part of us teachers and, and in our family din po. Lalo na po, kaya nakarelate din po ako yung sinabi nyo na if you are experiencing circumstances, especially right now po, my mom is not okay, uh, nakaka-experience po siya ng, ng mm-hmm. pain and she's having anxiety. Pero imbes na mag po ako kasi I'm in the book of Mark Paul and Lucas po wherein it is more on how God healed people, ba diba? Kaya parang yung heart ko is andun lang ako sa stage ngayon na I'm just being relaxed knowing na ang daming pinagaling ni Lord. So kumbaga uh, yun yung nagiging weapon ko po na yung revelation ni Lord sa akin sa devotion ko every morning na there's nothing impossible with the Lord. So, y- yun po yung mm-hmm. sinasabi ko yun na nagiging weapon natin, yung yung personal devotion natin sa Diyos, that we okay. are being strengthened every day, that no matter what circumstances you will experience, it's just, um, yung parang relax ka lang, hindi ka katulad ng alagad na, di ba, yung mga alagad ng may bagyo na eh, parang yung doubt nila sa Lord. So, sabi nga, kung meron lang tayong pananampalataya gaya ng isang um, mustasa, di ba? Eh, mm-hmm. Walang imposible po sa Panginoon. No way, uh, as we apply po this teaching nyo po, the mentoring po na narinig namin, talagang napaka-importante po ng personal devotion natin sa just and quiet time. Because that is the time na mas nagiging deeper po yung relationship natin sa Lord. And we can see how God really works in our lives in, in His ways and we can be able to trust Him fully. Nala mo, you have started your day with God and you will end your day with God. That's what matter most po despite what you are going through every day po. Nala mo na kasama mo yung Diyos. Kaya don't, you don't need to be to be worried po in everything. So yun lang po. Amen. Very good. Mm-hmm. Amen. Okay, next po si Sir James and then si Jeremiah. And after Jeremiah, anyone na gusto mag-share sa mm-hmm. Okay, hello po tayo. Good evening, guys. Praise God. In take away, I divided into two. Uh, revelation mm-hmm. and uh, I would like to okay. share my revelation sa, sa pakikinig sa mentoring uh, ngayong gabi yung uh, definition ni Tatay about success. Sabi niya, actually na-share din ni Bless that what really sustain our success is the involvement of God in our lives. So, ang, it, uh, ang revelation nito sa akin is uh, you, we do not need to hard uh, to work hard to be successful. And sometimes, dinidefine din- ng iba yung success as maging contento lang or reaching your dreams. Ah, uh, ito lang pala uh, we need to involve God in in every plans in everything that we do. As I be sa Joshua 1:8, we he will we will become successful sa uh, nga. we need the touch of God in our lives. We need the mm-hmm. touch in our decision, 
in our plans and in everything that we do so to become more successful mm-hmm. and the challenge sabi nga ni tatay that uh, devotion is not a devotion without application so it we we all uh, we should challenge ourselves every day na uh, we should listen to god uh, sincerely and sensitively for us to uh, para makuha natin kung ano talaga yung uh, sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin in in our devotion in reading the word so we must be willing to apply what we read and what we have listened to from the lord yun lang po tayo yeah. thank you pastor james salamat po very good may i ask Right to share his key takeaways. Is it my turn? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you said somebody else's name. I was like, oh, okay. No worries. Um, okay. Uh, so yeah, I think the one of the the father molds and sharpens. We're 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 tools to God. More than that, he he loves us, and I, I don't want to uh, talk us down to just tools in a shed that he uses uh for his glory but truly uh we we are we're like blades and and the word of god is like a blade and he molds and sharpens us through the spirit of his word it's the spirit of his word that turns us into warriors that turns us into um into fighters uh who can go out and make real change on behalf of god and uh, our relationship with the lord can't be complete without his word because sometimes that's the only way that he speaks to us it's it has to be a two-way relationship but but if we don't know who god is if we don't have uh a portal into god's heart that he's given us through his word then how can we how can we come to know uh uh, who he is what his desires are uh where his heart lies on any given topic we have we have to have something to base it off of and we we don't we don't have the the blessing of being able to know jesus personally in the way that people did when he was alive but when we allow god to speak through his word that's when he speaks directly to us when when we dive deep into his heart and into his mind and really keep him um uh in our thoughts and um and and as a part of our day that's that's when he comes and speaks directly to us uh like you like he did to you tatai and and it seems that it opens up your spirit to, to so many blessings and to so many uh, avenues for God to work through because not because those avenues weren't there, but because we are being receptive of it and we are, we are open to it and we're constantly learning how to have a better and more efficient and effective relationship with God. And, and without, without our devotion, we truly can't, we can't know the Lord enough uh, to, to hear him speak, to hear, to hear his voice uh it, it because the world distracts us constantly it only takes you know a, a, a one missed day of devotion and we are just one step further from god and it may not feel like it but the world has its way of of drawing our attention away uh from what's important and and towards uh you know money or whatever else we might be uh we, we might be needing because we have so many physical needs that that we uh neglect our spiritual needs and and when we are uh, doing devotion to the Lord and and uh, and, and sharing our life uh, with Him, that is when He will help us the most, and He will help us succeed. Um, and I think it's 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 not us who succeeds when um, you know when we know God; it's He who succeeds on our behalf. Uh, it's He who is fighting the battles that we can't fight, and and showing Him love and and compassion is is. Uh, his ticket to say okay i will fight for you because you have allowed mm-hmm. me to fight your fight to, yeah. to win your battles and to, to, uh, get involved yes yeah absolutely and by the same token when we suffer it is not us who suffers it's jesus who suffers on our behalf so take the success and take the i wouldn't call them failures i would call it learning experiences but mm-hmm. it is not it is not our suffering it is it's god has already suffered immensely and uh infinitely for us uh and we don't need to we don't need to worry if if we the closer we stay to god the more we 
can understand that the suffering and the failures are for a good reason. They're for a, a they're for the glory of God. They're for our learning, for our uh, our development. Um, the more I look back at my life, especially uh, my life before I knew God, I see how every wrong turn I made uh, uh, and every mistake, um, everything that used to keep me up at night and I used to regret, right? Those are the things that crafted me into the man I am today. And those are the very experiences that brought me to God in the first place. So he, he has a way of melting away uh, uh, that regret and melting away that worry. And that when we, when we keep him close, it's, you just know, you just know that God has you on the right path when he redirects us. And when, when, um, when he shows us something, a, a new way of looking at things, or, you know, basically he'll tell us straight to our face, we're wrong, or we are, um, we have the wrong motivation, or we want the wrong things. And sometimes that is, uh, th that's hard. But when we realize that, and truly desire to serve God, uh, he will come to show us that that was his plan all along. And that, um, that was what he wanted for us all along. And I think staying close to him and, and doing our devotional, it really keeps us close to that knowledge. And, and it reminds us uh, that we're here to serve God's will and not our own. Um, and, and God, you know, he sees our reaching out in devotion and he responds to our hearts. Uh, he, he responds when our heart desires companionship and when our, when our heart desire, even more importantly, discipleship, companionship being, you know, when we want love, but uh, discipleship being when we truly desire to serve God and when we truly desire to love God. Um, so I, I think, you know, for me, um, an example, I, I don't usually pick a chapter to read if I do devotional or, or if I want to read and I need, a, I need a word from God. I don't go and try to choose it. I, I literally, I put my finger on the Bible and I open it and it is, I, I, I can't stress enough how incredibly God works through that. Like he, he always brings me to what I need. He always shows me the passage that I needed and, and the wisdom that I needed. And it's unmistakably God's voice. But, uh, the, the more often that I spend time with God and even more importantly, the more faith that I put into him in those moments and in those times where I search for wisdom, that's when the message really hits home. And that's when, uh, uh, I feel the love the most and I feel the, uh, I feel God working in my life the most. Uh, so, so we just need to keep increasing our faith. And, and part of that is, is, uh, knowing that God has words, uh, for us to hear every day, even when we're doing well, even when, when, when the money is there and, and the success is there, um, and those may be the times when we need God's help the most, actually, depending on uh, our situation. But the more faithful that I am in, in my devotion and the more I let the Holy Spirit work rather than trying to craft some sort of schedule and just let the Spirit, if the Spirit tells me to open the Bible and read, then, you know, it, we should do it. Uh, those are the times that I, I find God the closest to me. Amen. Thank you. For that, magaling ka talagang bata. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Scholar. Okay, okay so... Okay, so... Okay, next. Uh, may gusto pa po bang mag-share sa team? Magkita ko si Sir Jay. Baka may gusto siyang i-share. Okay, kung wala na, tahimik si Sir Jay. Hey Grace, ikaw na. Ay, hindi ko nakagit ng sarili ko pero. Ay. <laughs> Hey Grace, take it away. <laughs> oh my God, para sa'yo. Naglag yung ano. Sige po, ako na lang po. Para hindi po kayo mga awit. Ayan, praise the Lord. Thank you po tayo sa maganda pong 
um, sinare niya sa gabing ito about devotional life. Um, ang tumatak po talaga sa akin dito, number one po, is yung uh, God desires to be part of our daily life. Amen. It's Uh, yun nga, it's a relationship basically, siyempre, at ang, na, ano ba ang uh, foundation ng relationship or uh, intimate relationship rather, it is communication, constant yeah. communication with the Lord and His Word is our only way para ma-activate yung words, ay yung mismong salita ng Panginoon, how He can speak to us, not just whenever we go to the church, but of course, we have to constantly read his words because his words sabi nga ni tatay is spirit and life and also every time we open and read the bible the lips of the lord is moving amen i super agree with that and um last thing na um ano pa ko dito devotion simply means strong love No. Uh, sabi sabi nga sa ano sa Bible then where your treasure is there your heart will be also and whatever you uh spend most of your time it is uh, probably one of the things that in the treasure mo. So we have to spend a time uh set a time or ibig sabihin no nag nagse-separate ka ng time. for your loved one no for for your uh, for the one that is most precious to you at sana i, i- gawin natin na ang pag-spend natin sa Panginoon is uh, take it as, as our most precious time to um um to spend time with the Lord amen at uh, yun lang po bibigay ko po kay Ate Mona amen Okay, so um, ako na po yung last kung wala na pong mag-share. Okay, um, una po. God desires to be part of our lives. Ayan. So dun sa portion na yun, um, uh, kapag uh, hindi tayo ni devotion, sabi ni tatay, no? parang tinatanggalin natin ng chance ang Panginoon na ma... Na ma-, ma- mangusap sa atin. And parang, ano, uh, for me, ah, parang sinasabi ko na, uh, Lord, kaya ko na to. Ganyan. When I started my day na hindi ko man lang siya, hindi ko man lang siya um, uh, kinakausap, in-acknowledge, hindi man lang ako humingi sa kanya ng, ng um, strength, ganyan. When everything, everything, ano, na, na that is in us is from the Lord. I, I remember ang isang uh, sigurong experience na that I can share Uh, dito sa dito sa passage or sa statement na to is um, when I went to a training sa sa Germany so yung first nung una kabang ka ba ako sa pray ako ng pray tapos nung first day tsaka second day uy ang dali-dali ng training <laughs> ang uh, ang dali sabi ko yung third day hindi na ako nanalangin parang ay ay parang naging confident ako sa sarili ko nako parang uh, madali lang pala to ganyan ganyan tapos third day natanong ako nang hindi ko alam parang na simple lang ako ganyan and then i sorry Jeremiah it's hard for <laughs> It's hard to tell the story in English. <laughs> okay, so, so the third day, I was reminded that I am merely standing on the grace of God. You know, that that everything that is in me, yung strength, yung wisdom, yung chance, yung every opportunity, yung favor, even the very breath that we're breathing is from the Lord talaga. And we cannot live a life a single day or a minute na hindi tayo nagde-depend on God. Kasi lahat ng nasa atin is from Him. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So, if we will not um, uh, lay down ano, your day or your life sa Kanya daily, it's as if you're saying na, I don't need you and I can manage on my own. But that's a lie from the enemy. Kasi everything is from the Lord. Let us be reminded ano, okay, na lahat ay galing sa Panginoon. At wala tayong kakayahan mabuhay. Uh, kahit isang minuto lang without him. Ayan. And uh, uh, next is yung re- uh, remo- uh, 
ang ang devotional daw is not just writing you know but developing a habit of untiring devotion sa Panginoon. Ayan. So hindi lang yung pagsusulat natin sa notebook ang devotional kundi yung devotion natin sa Panginoon mismo. Untiring ibig sabihin hindi ka mapapagod. Madami nang sabi kanina, especially Pastor Charity, you know. Sometimes it's challenging. Imagine yung lifestyle ni or commitment ni Pastora 5 a.m. to 7, ano? Bukod sa maaga na mahaba pa. O ba? Diba? Okay. Para hindi lahat kayang mag-devote siguro ng ganun. Um, uh, uh, pero um, yun yung untiring love. Eh. Hindi yung we will devote our time when it's easy. Dapat no. Ano? Um, uh, it, you have to pay the price. Ano? May cost yan. Um, ang, 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 ang devotion natin sa Panginoon. And we, we should not be tired. Ano? na 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 ipursue ang Panginoon i i seek siya amen um and then uh ano ba yan uh, and then next is yung sa sabi nga ano ba to have to have devotion is to have intimate relationship with God ano kasi as we do our devotion we are adapting yung characteristics ng Panginoon o di ba we we become more like Christ as we devote time sa kanya and the uh, last is yung good good and good thing is we don't take chances ayan ang maganda is when we when, when we seek the lord ano promise na yan eh sa so Jeremiah 33:3 diba he says he said na call unto me and i will answer you maganda it is very we are so blessed na when we seek the lord ano he always responds lagi siyang nagre-respond sa atin mm-hmm. hindi tayo yung ano chamba lang um, uh, let's take the chances maybe god will answer me or god will speak to me today No, because when we seek the Lord, He always responds, you know. And when we listen, you know, when we listen, I'm sure that God is more attentive. When we listen, when we listen more, we receive more, you know. So, so as we listen to the Lord, we receive more. Sabi niya kanina ni Jeremiah, um, seeking yung uh yung yung pag the devotion natin is like a portal, portal, huh? It should be portal. <laughs> sa Filipino Diction Portal. Okay? Ibig sabihin, pintuan, daluyan. Ayun. So, yun yung portal na sinabi kanina ni Jeremiah. Na magiging daluyan niya ng salita ng Panginoon. May pangutawa dito sa daluyan ng, ng uh, salita ng Panginoon para dumali siya sa atin. No? It's y- yun yung chance. You're opening a chance or avenue for the Lord to speak and um, na-empower tayo. Ayan. So, yun lang. And uh, God bless sa lahat. Salamat for your time. And uh, uh, medyo may kausap ata si tatay. So picture taking tayo. Well, wait, tatay. Picture. Bless. I can take a picture for us. Okay. Tay. Okay, open your cameras. Picture okay, mga anak. So, uh, 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 meron pa akong kabilang mentoryo. Di ba? <laughs> picture uh, tape. Okay. okay. Sige, picture tayo. Tama. Mm-hmm. Okay po. One, two, three. There. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so see you Thursday, okay? See you Thursday po, po. Uh, Blessing everyone. Blessing. Bye. Bye. Bless you guys. Bye. Bye guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Pray niyo po ako. Yes, Grace. God bless everyone. Bye-bye po.